Good morning. Last week I talked about Halloween costumes and why some Halloween costumes are problematic. Out of all the Halloween costumes you could be, it's probably not a good idea to compromise someone else's culture for, a, for your own holiday. Um, it's generally not cool. And one of the arguments that goes along with that that I, I couldn't really fit into last week's video, which was already way too long, is the notion of, oh, it goes both ways. We see, people say this all the time. It comes up uh, on the internet a lot. You know, well, how come the NAACP gets to exist, but we can't have an organization like that for white people? It's the same thing. It's not the same thing. Allow me to illustrate an example using cheeseburgers. I didn't bring any cheeseburgers today because I'm all low carb now, and I will eat the cheeseburgers. Ha! Oh, but no. Imagine that you and I are trapped on a desert island. And one day, while we are starving, we find a crate containing a thousand cheeseburgers that is washed up on shore. And I, being a brute, seize these cheeseburgers. And you get away with one. And the next day you come to me and you say, Jim, Please give me a cheeseburger. I have all these cheeseburgers. You you need a cheeseburger. I mean, you need to eat. And you say, please, please give me a cheeseburger. Well, I can't really say no. I mean, I can, but I'm being a jerk if I say no. Because I have so many cheeseburgers. I can just get, I can, sp I can spare one. But what if after I give you one cheeseburger, I say person, viewer, sir or madam, uh, honorific of your choice, please give me a cheeseburger. And you say, no. And I say, listen, you asked me for a cheeseburger and I gave you one. Now I'm asking you for a cheeseburger. It's the same thing. And it is the same thing. As long as we ignore the context wherein I have all the cheeseburgers. It ties into notions of privilege, but it isn't, this is not an explanation of privilege so much as an explanation of distinct power dynamics. Privilege is an example of a, of a power dynamic. I'm not going to even try and unravel that, partly just because I don't know how. Uh, mostly, actually, because I just don't know how, and partly because it would make this way too long. It's, it's the same reason why reverse racism and misandry are not things. Men don't get to sit around going, man, I wonder when we're going to be really represented in government. I wonder when there's going to be a white male president of the United States or prime minister of Canada. Uh, Canada has actually had one female prime minister and she wasn't elected. So we're super, we're, we're doing super great on that front. We don't have to do that. We have all the cheeseburgers. When other people who have less or no cheeseburgers request cheeseburgers, it is okay. I mean, we should, we should give them cheeseburgers. We don't get to then turn around and go, well, give us a cheeseburger. We just gave you cheeseburgers. We've given you all kinds of cheeseburgers over the years. Give us some cheeseburgers. Where are our cheeseburgers? Our cheeseburgers are behind us. We have our cheeseburgers. We still have lots of cheeseburgers. I'm so hungry right now. That's power relations explained through cheeseburgers. So when someone, when you, when you see people making requests for that kinds of thing or, or, or entreating you to respect their rights, think about how many cheeseburgers they have and, and, and respective to your cheeseburgers. And it goes along with a lot of issues. I'm not even going to try and, I'm, I really want to talk about intersectionality, but I'm not going to talk about it next week. I'm not going to make that promise. Uh, this video is already a week late because last week I talked about Night Shift, which was so much fun. I'm actually recording this before I've got a Night Shift, but I assume it's going to be awesome. And next week I will do something fun or give some advice. We'll see. Alright. See you guys on Friday. Now I'd like to look down at the earth from above. I miss all the places and people I love. So although I might like it for one afternoon, I don't want to live on.